Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. As you would have seen at the beginning of the video, we showed a little bit of the ride. Just wanted to change it up today. We're down Black Rock. We're going to fly the Xeno Mini Pro, show you guys this area. So with that being said, we will start a screen recording. And enter the Hubson 2.0 app, the X Hubson 2.0. Enter device. I'm gonna turn my uh, antennas up the other way. FPV has been turned off. It will turn okay. on after the aircraft okay. takes off. Uh, everything's reading normal. We have nine satellites, so give it a second here. It's a really cloudy day. Ten. Uh, 11, there we go, 12 satellites. Let's take off. No obstacle avoided. Okay, so let's check the camera options here and make sure everything's set up correctly. JPEG. Uh, 48 megapixel is on. Actually, guys, before I do this, I'm going to land this and clear the drive on us. Okay, we will now take off. No obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with caution. And indoor camera options. So, 48 megapixel is on. Our weight balance, we want to. Okay, we have that set to 5,000 should be good let's go to video and start recording well here you guys can see where I'm at just parked alongside of the road and I'm gonna head down the end here when I finish this video guys and do another flight with the uh, mini 3 Pro down at the beach so we've got enough altitude we'll head out camera down a little bit looks like our, our horizon is just slightly off a bit here see if we can correct that or is it going to straighten out itself it doesn't look like it okay that's the wrong way uh, right about Right about there. Yeah, that looks okay right there. So it'll probably go off again as I'm uh, flying here. But I wanted it straight. So I'll give you guys a view around here. Black rock, guys, and uh, look at the water where it meets the ocean there. You can see that surf. That's where it starts to get really rough. And that point there you're, that I'm looking at now, center screen, we made a video out on that point long, long time ago, guys. And that little rock, that center screen now, is usually full of seals. So down 
down where my camera is pointing now, center screen, that's where I'm heading next. That's where the beach is. Let's see if I can bring this drone back in easily without changing the speed setting. We're only uh, just under 300 meters out. I'm heading right back towards me now. I can see the drone. We're 109 meters up. We're actually going to get up a little higher to that 400 foot mark. Which is right about there. 122 meters. I'm just, just barely under it guys. It's hard to get it exactly on. Okay, so our horizon has gone off again now that I've uh, done some turning, so we'll bring that back. And I think that's on there. Oh, it's still slightly off. Slightly off, so uh, they still have a bit of correcting to do with this gimbal. Now I've seen today Actually, it's straightening out now. I've seen today, guys, that Hubson are releasing another version of this drone, which they really shouldn't do. They should be trying to correct this first before putting another one out. And that's, that's a big reason why I don't want to purchase another Hubson drone. Because they would much rather Please fly with caution. throw another drone out to the public instead of fixing what they have already. And that's my big reason for not wanting to buy another one. I'm right above me right here now, guys. Pretty much just high off wind. to the side Please of me. I'm getting a high wind warning, but it's only roughly 10 mile an hour gusts here today. Let's put that camera up. Give you guys a full 360 view around. That's the area I came in from here. I'm just pulling a complete 360 circle around me here. You guys will see me down on the road here in a second. There you go. There's the car. So that's it guys, we're down to 82% battery. High winds, please fly with caution. Let's put that camera back up. There we go, yeah it's it's off its horizon a little again. It's not too bad, but it's slightly off. It's noticeable when you have the grid lines on. And it's gone back to level again now. Okay, I see it. Wind is blowing this direction, so I'm flying into the wind now. Let's stop there, and we will uh, put a little zoom on, see if there's anything on that rock. Uh, I'm still too far away to tell, really. By the looks of it, I think there is. Like I say, it's a little hard to tell, guys. I'm, I'm still too far away. I'm only 250 meters out away from me right now. Three hundred, three fifty. 
We'll get a little bit closer and then we'll zoom again. See what we can see. You can see right across the uh, water there, that's Cape Breton Highlands. Okay, that's as far as I'm going, guys. That's 400 meters. Uh, it's hard to say, but I, I believe there are some seals down around there. So, okay, let's turn it around and bring it back. We're down to 74% battery. That's easily coming back. Only in normal mode. You can see somebody put a trailer down just up here from me. It's a nice area, guys. Really nice area. Beautiful view here. The camera up. Coming back with a tailwind. We're only going seven meters per second. Or am I fighting a headwind? So it should be going faster than that in normal mode, I think. But I'm right above me, so let's bring her down. Actually, before I do so, I'm going to get a thumbnail pick. You guys seen the area now, and uh, I wanted to test the camera out, see if it still looks good anyway. There's uh, no other updates since the last one for this drone. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video, guys. And I'm going to get a thumbnail pic, so I hope you enjoyed the flight. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And peace out. Catch you in the next one. Is it not drunk? <laughs>